Welcome back to another episode of Knife Time and boy what we've got here the custom knife factory crocker I'm already laughing because this knife is absolutely huge let me pick it up just to give you an idea how big this monster is absolutely humongous knife um, so I've got the both uh, versions here we're gonna go over a uh, uh, few bits and pieces and discuss it a little bit so this video is going to be a little bit over uh, what we try to do every video in about five minutes or so so this is going to be a little bit longer than that because uh, first we've got two two of the uh, two different versions and secondly um, there's a lot to talk about this night <laughs> so let's just start from this one the Crocar so this knife is designed by Alexi Konigin uh, the same guy that has designed the Decepticon, you know, he's, he's very famous. And this is based off his custom knife, uh, which is called Verona in Russian, or, or the Crow. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but I've seen the pictures of the Crow. It, they come in a couple of different sizes, you know, the, the normal size, the extra large, the, the large. Uh, so uh, they are pretty much... Um, the same shape but they've got the skeletonized handle like the Decepticon and uh, also the blade grind is a little bit more complicated than this so this is the production version of the the same knife if you like and I was personally very very keen uh, to see this coming out and uh, I was really dying to get my hands on this knife and fortunately it's uh, it's out eventually and uh, here we got it so they come in two different versions uh, this is the uh, marble carbon fiber and the other one is uh, with the titanium scales um, so that's full titanium frame uh, except from the zirconium parts and this is titanium and carbon fiber this version is a fair bit lighter than that one and we're gonna do a, a quick comparison for you as well so let's start with the blade look at that blade isn't it just magnificent beautiful blade grind uh, a massive hawk style blade I mean it is absolutely gigantic let me get this out of the way so we can focus on one knife at a time so if you look at the blade just like that you can see it looks like a you know it's like a devilish kind of a crow that uh, stop in or a blade stop or the thumb stop being the, the eyes just look at it like that and doesn't it look like a like a massive crow coming out of your nightmares maybe and it's got like jimping in here where you can rest your thumb so it's very comfortable when you hold the knife and look at the the handle so it just your fingers just hold on to it so securely and this bit here stops your uh, the pinky finger and it's just got a very very comfortable grip I mean excuse me the camera is struggling to to get this knife in the full frame it's so large it's not funny have a look at that and it's comfortable comfortable in both reverse grip and the normal grip look at the reverse loop on this just my thumb just naturally lays there and that curve follows the curve of my my finger naturally and it's just one of the most secure and most comfortable reverse grips ever just look at that so <laughs> first things first i'm gonna say this this knife is a is a love it or hate it uh and there's no um there's no hiding that so you either gonna love this or hate it but i'm gonna point out that this knife was obviously not intended for any kind of use i mean uh, there's no using this knife there's uh there's no pocketing this knife it is so huge so heavy so large and i mean uh, you cannot possibly put this in your pocket and walk around because it's uh it's a door stop it's so huge and i mean if you whip this out anywhere people are going to freak out so this is not a knife that you put in your pocket and walk around or you cut up your lunch or open boxes it's not designed for that purpose this is a purely collector's item it is made to exercise and and show what can be done in terms of design and execution of that design and that's what the purpose of this knife is and it's just made to to be a cool knife a conversation start starter um, you know a cool 
piece for, for your pictures, for your collection. And if you love the knives, if you like engineering, you know, the design aspects of the knife, that's the knife for you. But if you, uh, if you're the use your shit type of guy and you know, you want to put it in your pocket and go use it. And if you can't use it, you will, you'll be disappointed. Well, this is not for you then because I mean, who's going to carry something like that in the pocket, unless you're a maniac, go for it. But I wouldn't put this in my pocket and, and walk around for any purpose. So, uh, this is basically a collection piece and, um, and, uh, you just got to hold it, admire it, take photos of it, enjoy it, you know, flip it open and, and, and close it and uh, just, uh, have something like this in your collection to show your mates and, you know, uh, have a conversation over it. Plus, it's a Alexi Konigin design, so I mean, you know, it's always good to have something uh, that he's designed in your collection. So, uh, let's start with the with the locking mechanism and the opening. So this one opens with thumb studs that double up as a blade stop as well. So. Despite the blade being extremely large, they work very well actually. Uh, it's it's very simple to open the blade. As you can see, let me hold it a bit further back. It opens very simply and locks back uh, really, really securely. So the lock locking mechanism is very similar to a lock back, but apparently it's not. It's something that Alexi has designed himself. It's a new kind of mechanism um, that uh, still works like a lockback. I haven't opened this knife to to tell you exactly how it works and what's the the interior of it. But uh, to me, it looks like a lockback, and it works that way, indeed. So let's call it a lockback for now. And if I find out more about the lock, I'll tell you in the description. But for now, we just consider that to be a lockback, and you know, you just push this bit here down and it releases the blade and you can close it when you open it and you can see it's got a fair bit of retention see that bit here yeah it's got a strong blade retention and it's fairly simple to uh, to open and close it so that's the locking mechanism. Um, the design itself is kind of really a, a complicated design. If you look at the knife, so this bit here is the mainframe. And you've got a carbon fiber scale sitting on top of it. These scales are held down by these two screws, which are, uh, you know, the, the pivot and another body screw. So. There's no extra screws to uh, bolt down the, the carbon fiber scales, and that's a genius design of Alexi. He's, uh, you know, he he makes the use of everything. If he doesn't need to add extra screws, he doesn't. Same goes with the blade stop slash stop pin. So he's put um, both of them into one, and you know the the thumb stop is placed perfectly, so that you know. It's exactly when, where your thumb rests, and you can simply open it, and then it works like a blade stop here. So, yeah, I was talking about the, the handle. You can see these gray parts here, they are titanium scales. Then you've got this titanium back spacer floating in the middle, and then this bit here, which is a lock release, is, is made of zirconium. So you've got a combination of two different, three different materials being carbon fiber, zirconium, titanium, and you can see how they uh, sort of all assemble together. It's a beautiful design. And on the lock side, you've got a zirconium. It's a, uh, it's an absolute fingerprint magnet. Let me clean it off. So the pocket clip is also made of zirconium. It's beautiful. And it just feels luxurious. And um, <laughs> let me close the knife and show you something that's definitely, uh, you know, there's been a lot of talk about this, and some people pointed out 
the gap here between the blade and the handle. So some people said it's a, it's a deal breaker for me. Some people said they, they don't mind it. Um, the reason for this gap is obviously the shape of the handle is curved this way and the blade is curved that way. And being so large, I mean that sort of a gap in here, it was inevitable. So you've got a gap here. I personally don't mind it because, you know, it's not gonna, you know, it's not gonna cut me or anything. And like I said, this knife is not going to be carried in my pocket, so it, it really, really doesn't matter. I'm just gonna have it open in the display case, or even if you close it, who cares? But that's not a, a knife that you you would take out and use unless you work in a farm and you need a folding sickle. And that that way, yes, it works perfectly. You know, you can go out and cut down your hay or cut down I don't know some some spare branches or whatever. But yeah. Other than that, it's a collection piece. So that gap in here, for me, it's fine. I don't mind it at all. But whatever tickles your fancy, like I said, this knife is a is a love it or hate it. You either like it or you don't. So let me put this down and bring out the the other variant. So the biggest differences is obviously the. The carbon fiber scales are here replaced by this um, bronze anodized dark titanium scales, and I absolutely love the uh, the machining on these handles. The way they start uh, sort of wider here, then they taper down to really thin lines towards the end. I dig that. So this is my uh, favorite version out of the two. I know a lot of people like the mar marble carbon fiber and it's definitely lighter but I really like the, the machining on these, the colors uh, let me get it to to focus yeah like I said the machining, the colors and look at the way it tapers and it's kind of a little bit um, yeah the way it reflects the light it's a bit of a blue slash bronze Oh, I mean, or purple bronze, really beautiful. Again, pocket clip straight away grabs as much fingerprints as it can. Clean it off. Another thing I really like about this version is uh, the titanium parts are blackened, so it really flows nice with the color of the zirconium lock back, zirconium uh, pocket clip and sort of black and bronze match better as opposed to this one where you know the the carbon fiber matches really well with the gray so they they made the right choices here a great uh frame with marble carbon fiber great match with the uh, dark bronze and the black which also is a, is a great match but uh, being significantly heavier than the other one, I still prefer this version just because of the color combination. It's just me. I mean, if you like the other version, it's it's great as well. And it's lighter, but I prefer this. And I absolutely don't mind the heft because, as I said, it's not going to be carried at all. It's just a piece for the collection to show people and... <laughs> I can guarantee everyone is going to be impressed with this. It's absolutely beautiful. It's such a menacing knife. <laughs> Just look at the the proportion. I mean, it's it's huge. So let me talk about the blade on this one a little bit. It's again uh, a combination of vapor finish and satin. Let me clean it off again. So the uh, flats are satin and the rest is vapor finish really beautiful uh, it's going to be um, the, the hot put blade is not the easiest to sharpen but if you're not going to use it much or use it at all you know you, you don't have to worry about that part m390 as usual and these knives uh, come with a whole bunch of uh, spare hardware everything that you need let me show you that very quickly So these are the spare parts, you know, you got two sets of 
bearings, some washers, uh, pins, screws, a spare set of blade stop or thumb stop, and uh, two screws, large and small, and also a spare pocket clip. This one is blue titanium. It's not zirconium, it's titanium. There you have it. And it comes with the standard custom knife factory certificate as well as the um, the zipper patch and microfiber cloth. So there it is, custom knife factory Krogar, one of my absolute favorite knives of uh, 2019, a knife that I've been waiting for a long time to get my hands on and finally I could. I absolutely dig it, really like it. If you want something really cool, a conversation starter for your collection, that's a knife for you. If you're the type of guy that only buys knives to use it, stay away from this, this is not for you. And to see the specs, I go to our website lionknives.com.au and there you can purchase these knives and you can see the full specs. Thank you and see you later.